This famous old case was, I believe, the very last time that trial by battle was approved by an English court. A dance in Warwickshire was attended by 20-year-old housekeeper Mary Ashford. Adam Thornton, a 24-year-old man also at the dance, was very sweet on Mary. The two left the party together about 11pm, went to a house and had sex. She was seen leaving that house with him in the early hours before she grabbed some stuff that she'd left at her girlfriend's and departed alone. Two hours later, she was found drowned in a water-filled pit. There seemed to be the footprints of a man and a woman leading to the pit. Thornton was accused of rape and murder. The newspapers, the Court of Public Opinion, were outraged against him. However, there were no relevant signs of physical harm on Mary's body, and Thornton had an alibi. Despite the public anger at Thornton's premarital sex with Mary, the judge led the jury to acquit him in just six minutes. Mary's brother, William, then made a special type of private appeal against the acquittal. Back then, if someone was acquitted of murder after prosecution by the Crown, the victim's family could appeal. However, if such an appeal was made, the defendant could choose to defend themselves by battle. That's what Thornton did. The report says, He pleaded not guilty and I am ready to defend the same by my body. And thereupon, taking his glove off, he threw it upon the floor of the court. He literally threw down the gauntlet. His demand for trial by battle would be defeated if the case against him was so strong that it could not be denied. This was the counter plea advanced by William Ashford. The court, however, was against him. Justice Bailey, for instance, said, For the battle is the right of the appellee at his election, unless he be excluded from it by some violent presumption of guilt existing against him. On going through the whole of these proceedings, they do not raise in my mind that violent presumption which is by law required to oust the appellee of his wager of battle. Ashford, unwilling to fight to the death, withdrew his claim and Thornton's acquittal was confirmed. Trial by battle was removed from the law just a year or so later. <laughs>